Sophie's baby, we got the one who's hiding. We ended up with uh, two beige colors. Let's see, we got, we got two beige, we got one, two, three black, we got one gray, and we got one, two, three, four white babies. So we got four white, two beige, one gray, and three black. These are now 10 days old, exactly. Now, Mom, you got to get out of here. The mother, who's Sophie, tries to steal her babies and hide them in the closet whenever I open it. So, trying to keep her out of there while she's supposed to be out exercising and eating some peas and drinking some water. Bye, Sophie. Okay, Sophie. Yeah, these are all 10 days old. They'll be going to the pet store in another three the rent, we want to keep them what we can because we've got eight rats, but the rent is kind of a, I love this gray one, if I can get a close-up of him, he's got beautiful colors. He's kind of a, a gray with a, a brown mixed in. Hello, little Tendale. I'm going to get the colors. He's got beautiful colors. Hi, little guy. I have my son one for you, huh? Let's put you back. Put your little brothers and sisters. Now, I have a way of usually telling boy and girl from this age. I'll try and show you the difference. Okay, this one's a boy. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay, that's a boy. This is a girl. Let's put them side by side and I will show you the difference. The girl's got a much skinnier, longer nose, and the boy's usually got a short, stout nose and bigger head. Sometimes it's wrong, but nine times out of ten, I'm pretty right at this age. Hey, cool, guys. That's a white one and a beige one. It's hard to tell if they're going to be apricot or beige, but they're nice colors. They're just growing their fur. It's funny, yesterday they were bald, today they've got colors. Except you can tell they were black and white. So, quick knocking everything over. Say goodbye, Tanya.